This is our first introductory video for the subject of microeconomics. What is economics? The typical student walks into his first economic class with very little idea of what economics is. Students might have heard something like economics is the study of money or economics is another word for accounting or economics is very difficult. Don't take that class. But none of these are true. Economics is the study of the use of scarce resources that have alternative uses. It's the classic definition for economics. Basically, there are people and they need resources to fulfill their desires or wants. But the issue is these resources are limited while desires are unlimited. So people need to make choices about how to use these scarce resources. Economists study these choices. All economic questions fall into two categories, positive and normative. Positive economics describes what is and normative economics argues for what ought to be. So a question like why do people use money is a question for positive economics. Should people use money is a normative question. A general rule of thumb is that if your economic model has no value judgment, it's a positive economics. Whereas if it does have value judgment, it's a normative economics. Since to tell someone what he ought to be, you first have to judge what is best for him. Economics is divided into microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics studies the behavior of individual agents and markets. Microeconomics examines how these decisions and behaviors affect the supply and demand for goods and services which determine the prices we pay. These prices in turn determine the quantity of goods supplied by businesses and the quantity of goods demanded by the consumers. While Macroeconomics studies the behavior of the entire economy. Microeconomics should not be confused with macroeconomics, which is the study of economy-wide things such as growth, inflation, unemployment. After studying and understanding and learning this course, you will be able to understand how do consumers make decisions to maximize their satisfaction? How do productive resources are allocated for various goods and services? How do markets fail and what is the role of government to respond to those failures? Last but not least, how do firms can determine the profit maximization level of output to maximize their profit in different types of markets? We will be looking forward to have you in this course of microeconomics. Thank you.